Hello, welcome to my Linux Terminal Commands for Beginners tutorial. For this video, I'll be talking about the PWD Print Working Directory command, CD Change Directory command, and LS List Directory Contents command. For this video series, I will be using Fedora 21. Fedora 21 is a distro of Linux that, in my opinion, is easy to use. Let's open up the terminal. On the top left, click Activities. On the bottom left, click the Show Applications icon right here. Then click the Terminal icon. Note, depending on the distro you are using, getting to the terminal may be slightly different. First, let's start with the PWD Print Working Directory command. PWD. The PWD command displays the directory you are currently on. We are in the home slash Koshi directory. The PWD command is important because terminal commands by default run relative to the directory you are currently on. For example, when I use the ls list directory contents command, the contents listed are from the directory home slash Koshi, which is our current working directory. Next, I'm going to talk about the cd change directory command. Say we want to go into the documents directory. We enter cd documents. Note directory names are case sensitive, hence why we have to capitalize D. And now we are in the documents directory. Let's go back to the home directory using the cd change directory command. cd period period. The two periods tell the cd command to go back to the previous directory. The two periods act as a relative reference to the parent directory of your current directory. PWD, and we see we are back in home slash Koshi directory. PWD is an important command that you will probably use a lot, since many commands like change directory and list directory contents default output depend on the directory you're currently on. Okay, let's switch gears and talk more about the cd change directory command. The cd command, as you saw earlier, changes the directory we are on. There are two ways to change directories using cd. The first way is using a relative reference to a directory, and the second is using an absolute reference to a directory. Let's start with relative references. A relative reference to a directory relies on your current location or current directory. If you were to think of the Linux file system as a map, the current directory you are on would be the start point, and any move you make to another directory would be relative to that start point. Okay, I think it's better to see this with an example. We are in the home slash Koshi directory. Let's go into pictures directory. CD pictures PWD and now we are in home slash Koshi slash pictures directory. So we were originally in home slash Koshi directory then entering the command CD pictures pictures being a relative reference to a directory in home slash Koshi then after hitting enter on the command we then are changed to directory home slash Koshi slash pictures. Now let's go back to the previous directory cd period period. The two periods mean to go back to the previous directory relative to my current directory. PWD. Now we are in home slash Koshi directory. We moved one directory back with the cd period period command as we were previously on home slash Koshi slash pictures directory. Let's try another example of a relative reference. Let's move back another directory with cd period period. PWD. We are now in the home directory. Let's go to pictures directory again using a relative reference. Since we know that the Koshi directory is the parent directory of pictures, we can enter cd period slash Koshi slash pictures. The period is to represent a relative reference to the directory we are currently on which is slash home. PWD and we're back in the home slash Koshi slash pictures directory. Notice when using a relative reference we basically just added the last two directories Koshi and pictures onto home. Another example with relative references I'd like to show is further use of the cd period period command. Say we want to go into the music directory. 
from our current directory pictures. Well, we know that the music directory is located in the home slash Koshi directory, which is the parent directory of pictures. We can actually use the double period as a relative reference to go from pictures to music directory. Enter cd period period forward slash music. The double period is a reference to our previous directory home slash Koshi. And since music is in our previous directory, Koshi, which is also the parent directory of pictures, pwd, and we see we are in the home slash Koshi slash music directory. Depending on your current directory, you can go back as many directories as possible with the double periods. It would look like cd period period forward slash period period forward slash period period forward slash period period and this could go on forever directory. And this would be the directory you want to go to that is this many directories back. Now let's move on to absolute references. Absolute references are straightforward. To change into a directory from anywhere within the file system, just enter cd space and its full path address. To get back to our home directory, enter cd space its full path address, which is home slash Koshi. Absolute references are not dependent on your working directory's location. The pwd command by default gives you the full path of your current directory. PWD. This is what is referred to as an absolute reference to this directory. To get from our home slash Koshi directory to documents using an absolute reference, enter the command cd space home slash Koshi slash documents, where this is our full path to the directory documents. PWD and we are in home slash Koshi slash documents directory. Now let's go back to the user home directory using an absolute reference as we need to be in that directory to talk about the next command ls cd home slash Koshi where again this is the full path address to home slash Koshi. Now let's talk about the ls list directory contents command ls these are the contents of home slash Koshi directory. ls has some useful options such as ls-l which is the long list format. Here you can see the file or directory permissions, the owner, the group, the file size, the date created or last updated, and the name. The ls-a option, which means all, lists the hidden files. Hidden files are files or directories that begin with a period. An example of these would be the bash rc file and the cache directory. You can combine options together. ls-la command outputs a long list style with hidden files included. You can also get the same output by entering ls-al. Lastly, to list the contents of another directory, enter ls, then the directory of your choice. Let's display pictures directory. Pictures. Note this follows relative and absolute references I discussed earlier. Here we have the contents of the pictures directory outputted on the terminal. Alright, let's do one more example with the ls command. This time let's combine the long list option and all options together with an absolute reference to the Koshi directory. ls-l for long list option, a for all option, and the absolute reference to the Koshi directory, home slash Koshi. And now we have the ls output of the home slash Koshi directory in long list format and with all files displayed. There's a lot you can do with the pwd, cd, and ls commands. Check out their manual pages for more information. man pwd, man cd, and man ls. This concludes my Linux terminal commands for beginners tutorial for PWD print working directory, 
cd change directory and ls list directory contents commands. Here are some more Linux for Beginners videos. Also, please like or subscribe, but only if you want to. And lastly, thanks for watching.